Well, this could be a decisive week for President Biden's legislative agenda as the roughly $1 trillion infrastructure package is making its way through the House. Now, the bill has already been passed in the Senate. Skylar Henry has more on this from the White House. The House begins debate today on a nearly $1 trillion infrastructure package. You know, I'm never bringing a bill to the floor that doesn't have the votes. However, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has pushed back the vote on the bill from this afternoon until Thursday as she attempts to shore up support for the plan. Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, the head of the Congressional Progressive Caucus, says she has at least 60 votes to block the infrastructure bill. Progressive Democrats are demanding the House and Senate first pass a $3.5 trillion spending bill that includes new funding for the child tax credit, universal pre-K, home health care, and much more. If somebody wants less than three and a half trillion, tell us what you want to cut. Do you want to cut the child care? Do you want to cut paid leave? What is it you want to cut? And then let's figure it out from there. Last night, two moderate House Democrats announced they would support the spending bill to get infrastructure passed. With Democrats holding a slim majority in the House and an even 50-50 split in the Senate, President Biden needs even more Democratic support if he hopes to pass either bill. I'm optimistic about this week. It's going to take the better part of the week, I think. Republicans are unanimous in their opposition to more spending. They are in the midst of an absolutely unprecedented, very damaging spending spree on a scale that we have never seen. Some Democrats agree they'll likely have to cut the price tag down from $3.5 trillion in order to get it passed. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.